All right. Let's go for another run. So we're level four now. At level five, we unlock this ship. Uh, and we unlock a bunch of random talents. Uh, we can now choose our pilot. Three to choose from. And they have inherent talents and random talents. Uh, we can use our reroll chances to reselect them. And you earn them through playthroughs. Uh, and you can designate guaranteed. Uh, so we've got Alice. Every 25 coins you can pink from different builds. So you can either overclock or tri power units. Uh, S808 loses 8 HP, but you gain 8 shield points, which is really strong. And Dango, for every 5 treasures you own, you gain an extra energy. Uh, these are universal. So when you restore HP, you gain the same amount of coins. Center unit gains 3 power. You basically steal from shops. Uh, and you collect stuff. I think I'm going to go with Alice, though. And we're going to go on a difficulty mode 1. Now, so we just kick the difficulty up. It's like... Um, Ascensions or prestiging or what have you. Okay. Uh so it's Jones. This wandering pirate sent his meager plundered income on the Lone Star card. But unfortunately his card skill is even poorer than his career. Plan accurately and thoughtfully before act is his motto. And he also used it to modify his spaceship. The intermittent. Hibernate for a turn, awaken for two turns, repeat. So they're all on hibernate, so we basically need to do as much damage as we can. Annoying that I can't get a pair. is going to really smack him. Uh, two. Here we go there. Take a chunk of damage. Uh, after loading an energy, if gain extra strength that equals a loaded. Start of the battle, attack unit in front gains 3 power. Gonna go with the crystal core. Put it in the middle. And we'll... On an ancient and abandoned planet, you discover a relic of the Undeptus Mechanion. An electronic cylinder. It's said that the believers who once hesitated about whether to modify themselves and their ships would seek answers from this relic of Father Henderson. Uh, after loading an energy, if the energy points are less than or equal to four, gain extra strength that equals the loaded energy. <laughs> I think that's just really good. You try and draw the number three straw, but the dense writing is somewhat illegible. Upon careful examination, it seems to be about a method of shell sort. Miraculously, your ships and units are immediately upgraded. Uh, so we're up against Great Wall. Uh, I'm going to put you into that top column. Uh, I'm going to put the two basics there. Still got a bit of space. Mm -hmm. 
So you get that. Less than four. God, this is a really bad. Yeah, we go there. Moved there. Taking a bit of a beating. Uh, when loading energy at a certain point for the first time in battle, or generate one. I'm gonna get the data. I'm gonna get you. Uh, and here, I kind of want to get this coins. You encounter a devout bear folk follower of the Undeptus Mechanian, who sold all his belongings in the hope of purchasing armor of the spaceship to modify his own body. He wants to possess the universe's strongest body. That's all I want to do, though. Finding this type of modification horrifying, you firmly reject his request and leave. Oh, I've still got two days left. Um, uh, the Venting Interior Association has established welfare institutions various transit areas to help bounty hunters perform their duties more effectively. This is the association's fuel supply station, ranging services, some of which are subject to charges. So I can gain two fuel, gain one max fuel. I think I gain the max fuel. After paying only the cost, the engineer at the supply station expands the fuel tank. As a frontline bounty hunter, you are quite satisfied with the association's services. Uh... Nina never robs a target with less than 50 coins because a disposable starship is worth 50 star coins. It has a 25 star coin self-destruct system and a 25 star coin escape pod. So it's got a countdown self-destruct. I think I'm going to actually restore my HP before I do this. When loading energy of a certain point for the first time in battle. Oh, right, okay. So you gain a power because I've loaded a one in you. And then you would get right. So now I can load a two, three. I 
I need to avoid most of that. Load of four in there. Okay, that's good. You know, paralyzed. True art is an explosion. You're right. Uh, so, in the shop, refresh. Generating energy when you knock out the durability. I think I take that and we increase the weight limit. Uh, and here I want to gain a unit. Making, uh, making choices can be a headache, especially for those with decision anxiety. A bear folk passerby seems to have such trouble. His backpack is already filled with snacks, and he needs to decide what units or treasures to discard to continue his journey. Uh, can you help him out? Let's gain one chance to pick two out of five common units. When a single star is the only kind of attack unit that has loaded energy, that's no good. Uh, gain. I like that. Number three device. Uh, boost core. After loading an energy, generate one white if you load. Yeah, I like those as well. So I'm going to swap that, and we're going to add the number three device. If you're interested in your units, pick a few to discard and throw them into a nearby trash can. He thanks you profusely, saying you've saved him a big hassle. As he walks away, you quietly return to the trash can and put the units in your pocket. Uh. A space modification station run by a mech modification expert. It appears to be holding grand opening celebration. It offers free upgrades for specific units or paid upgrades for any unit of your choice. What will you do next? I am going to choose a unit to upgrade. Uh. And I think that, because that gets me extra. Follow the guidance of the mech god. If its desires happen to align with yours, mutters the mech while working on the upgrade. Uh, so Spaceship Octopus LRO3. LRO3 has been committed crimes frequently lately. Due to the painter's laziness, his ship Octopus only has two tentacles drawn. It's currently pillaging all over the completed spaceship. So, tentacle core. Gain one power when damage taken in the same column reaches six. Reset the power to zero. Hibernate for one turn. Uh, head core. When your unit goes into hibernation, this unit gains two power. When you see me, get ready to fail. Wow, this is... Uh... Painful. So let's do that. Do that. Minus two. Uh, 
so we loaded two in there. Uh, load of four in there. Take three. It's gonna do that. Uh, could have probably loaded better there. This is a uh, this is tricky. This is a tricky boss. So we do that we're taking 12 there I might have to restart this one Yeah, I can't actually do this, so we're going to retreat here. Uh, let's go to the shop. Um, at the end of the showdown, if the number of energy in your hand is greater than four, no. After loading an energy, generate one three point energy. Now grab that. I'm going to swap you for that. Uh, I'm going to put you in the middle. Do that. You in there? That there, move down one. Okay. So it needs to be one point higher. Uh, 
Uh, can I get any better? Gonna take two damage on there. So you're a four. Five. Put three in there. Three in there. We'll put a one in there so we tick that. Okay, so we break break through you. Put a five in there. kick you to that put a five in there so you get seven two two So that's 27 damage. Get the three. Pair of threes in there. Four in there. And a three in there. There we go. Uh, on the first turn, the unit in the center loads one white six point energy. Uh, otherwise, the attack unit gains two strength. We go with the magnifying glass. Upon gaining strength, deal an equal amount of damage to the enemy. Start the battle upgrade all units for this battle. Think I go dual cannons. Yep. So we drop you, put the dual cannons in the middle. Uh, because you gain two strength when you get loaded, which means you just deal damage. Uh, so select one unit to add a random... So one unit copy all the... Yeah, cannons are OP. Hey, random. 42... How's it going? In the old bustling city, a series of clinking sounds grabs your attention. It turns out to be a craftsman's modifying unit. He claims to be a disciple of the legendary craftsman Goro, but his name is Rogo. Seeing that you don't trust him, he insists on proving his skills to you. Um, what would I want? Select a unit and add a random color slot, or reduce its highest graded slot. Getting like a random slot in that. Yeah, another white slot. Add the modification, your number three device gains modification, add white slot. 
and the craftsman looks to you looks at the finished product with a satisfaction repeatedly asking you do you believe i am now the disciple of the legendary craftsman goro you nod indifferently to express your belief um and then we will gain a common oh, this is this is pretty good restore four shield points for for three uh but i don't have the space for it Off we go to a new galaxy. Um, it's the immobilizer again. Displacement monitoring core. When the enemy moves, this unit gains a power. Uh, so we've got 15 in this slot here. Attack unit gains extra two strength when loaded with energy. You just like take a, a big chunk of damage. So can I do that again? Yes, I can. That's doing that's awesome. Uh, so I can go bump, bump. Gonna take a bunch of damage, but basically kill him in one shot. Getting an extra slot on that, on that could have been useful as well. Uh, eight strength to attack units behind. Like getting that into there. Oh, getting that into there would be real good. Let's just grab the coins. Um, so it's the betting again. Ah, I lose the game. Wanting to confront another thing, think about the security guard in the game who's not one to mess with. You can only consider yourself unlucky. Ah, well. Uh, Thorn Mail, Jin. Jin used to be a bounty hunter until you encountered massive downsizing in the Bounty Hunter Association. There's everything about hunters, including their extreme fondness for their ships. Therefore, you modified a ship that gave all the hunters a hard time. So. Put a four in there, tap that, put a four in there. Put the one in there. Two and three. And then everything's the wrong color. Put a three in there, put a three in there, put a three in there. Drop you to there. So I just take the damage on the shields. Uh, put the two in there. There. Do need to drop there because that paralyzes you. Can boost you to that. Now I'll be laid off again.
Start of battle, two temporary fuel. All attack units gain two strength. Uh, 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 uh. Build Scholar provides an opportunity to pick between overclock and triple hour units one time per run. Uh, ignition device, overclock, all different units load, one, blue, one point, triangular core, gain three power. Uh, cool, bye. Uh, treasure. Ooh. In front of you is a seasoned bounty hunter who also happens to be responsible for the storyline of this game. He always takes his time off until the very last moment. Even during battles with the Hyena Gang, he'd be playing a game of Lone Star Card in the backstage of the ship's control system. As a rookie, you decide to seek some advice from him. Uh, I do not want to lose 10 max HP. I will happily lose 2 max fuel to gain that vacation handbook. Your man, you should describe your... Discre Increase your starship's mobility to enhance it, allowing you to put more effort into movement and either kill your opponent or meet your end more efficiently. I hand you a vacation handbook. So... Uh, enter competition, report to space police. While passing through the Akina galaxy, a group of space racers swap your ship. Hey kid, what kind of ship is that? Want to race? No. Space police arrive on time, arrest the racing space racers, award you the title of Outstanding Cosmic Citizen, and grant you a small reward. Yeah, I'm an Outstanding Cosmic Citizen. Uh, so we've got an elite. Deal damage that equals the current durability to the enemy. So I need to crack your durability. As sort of quickly as possible. you in there put you in there put you in there for I just need to keep reducing the durability. Five. Do a bit of extra damage there. Well, at least I can turn that into a three. Do 23 damage to you there. I just load a five in there and kill you. Orange energy, deal two damage to the enemy. When trip power is triggered, no, loading orange energy, weight limit. 
So we put that in there. So if I put a 5 plus, that gains 8 power. That gains 8 strength. Which will then deal damage to the opponent. Uh, double the amount of star coins, restore all health and fuel. Uh, let's double my coins. This has got me another build power. Uh, let's go with an upgrade. Uh, and let's select a unit to upgrade and we'll upgrade the cannon. Yeah. Awesome. And then we've got one more day. And we'll enter a race. Three damage. Oh, we've got this boss here. This may have been a problem. This may be a problem. Wait, why have I got a basic core here? Pollution. At the start of the turn, equip a basic core in an empty enemy grid. Okay, that's fine. Uh, wait, what are you going to do? Double the strength of the unit. Double strength. The strength of the unit is double for one turn. Cannot stack. After loading an energy, one of your attack units on the enemies randomly gain double strength. So I need to be Yeah, when loading an orange energy So if I load you into there, load you into there, so you're going to take ugh, 20 damage there. Uh, wow, well, I die horribly still here. I die no matter what I do here. Uh, let's potentially... Gain four power. Take you out, put you in there. Two, two, let's put that up there. Oh, that's solid. Uh, 
Six and four. He's turn you into a blue. I go down there and that helps. Okay. Drop the five in there, turn that into a three. Turn that into a three. Ugh. Um. Put you to there. Six in there. So we survive here. This is tough. This is tough. Um, let's turn you into that. Load of two, load of three, load of three. Now I think we retreat here. I, I think we drop that increasing core and we keep the gentle tap device because that's going to let us do some stuff with this. Um, are you better than this? I think we swap that there. I think this is good, but maybe, no, maybe that is better. Maybe this is better than this. No. We put the tap. Hmm. Convert you to a blue. Uh, you've got double damage, so you have to go in there. And then we go two and three. And go there, do 18 damage.
convert you to that, convert that, put that into there, convert those to two threes. Definitely move you to there. Fourteen to there. Ouch, this is I don't think we can win this. I don't know how we win this. Because we're out of fuel. tap device is definitely helping maybe it's just this I think we need that I think I think it's getting the shields back You there. Deals three damage. So that has to be there. Definitely convert you into that there. We go there. There we take eight damage. Bonk. Bonk. Boom. There we go. Down to down to five hit points. Uh, at the start of your turn, generate one, generate a white one point. Uh, at the start of battle, all attack units gain one power. Take the power. 
Uh, when energy is loaded into a white slot of a nearby unit, gain two strength. Uh, at the start of battle, all nearby attack units gain an additional blue slot. Take that. Pull that out. Pull that there. Swap you into there. And swap you into there uh, select one unit and copy the highest graded slot gain 6 max HP or select a unit to upgrade I think I take the extra health rare treasure Ahead, the crowd is packed. You look forward, you realize it's a massive gathering of Lone Star card players. People are proudly showing off their long collected cards, boasting them to each other. So, don't you take out your blah 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 blah? So, Shining Iron Piece and Back of Energy, Counterfeit Coin. For every 15 energy loaded, generate one orange. Uh, or Clustering Smog. During a battle, when fuel reaches zero, generate one nine. Uh, yeah, we take that. So, because I've only got two fuel, so I'm probably going to use it. And off we go to the final galaxy. Uh, okay, double edged axe and fixed star. Let's start a turn. All attack units on both sides gain two power. Okay. Uh, grab that. Put that. I do kind of to do that. Sure, we'll uh, we'll take it on there. Take it on the shields. Oof. Uh, right here, here. You gain a power. Turn you into a three. Do that there, move down one. Nope, that was the wrong direction. Meant to move up one. Seems like I've been slacking off. Uh, we'll just get the kinetic core, get the fuel, get the coins. Uh, ba -ba -ba. lose all star coins and gain six HP. No, I gain. F I, I pay ten for six HP and two shield points. Not paying sixty three. 
Both shield and body reinforce your ship's defensive capabilities and they are maxed out. Oh, it's another leapfrog. Uh, so put a five in there. Gives you that. Put a one in there. Three there. There we go. Tank no damage. Perfect. Drop the five in. Put the three there. Upgrade you. So if I go there, yeah, so we go there, we, we take three damage, but we don't take a huge amount. We don't deal it either, which is a shame. So annoyingly, we can't trigger this, and this is tricky to trigger as well, so... There we go. Got him. God, oh, we had a nine there. Uh, generate two energy at the start of next turn. The scheme module or the pulse recharger. Initiate, generate one white nine. Take that. Um, I'll buy two chain cores. Uh, let's go for you. Select a rare unit to upgrade to its high, to lower its highest graded color slot two times. Uh, or a common. Kind of. Yeah. Like, I can lower that. One rare unit. Lower its highest graded color slot. I don't. I mean, the best thing I can do is this. That's actually real good. Uh, da, 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 da. Gain a rare unit, gain star coin. Uh, let's gain a treasure. For every 10 coins, gain one max shield. Yes, please. Uh, so here's my elite. Uh, we do get a weight limit for this. All energy, 
Oh, after loading an energy, temporarily change all enemy point energy resources to one point. After loading energy, temporarily change enemy color to white. Uh, when your durability reaches zero, make the energy gain enemy gain one. Right. This is going to be painful. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I feared. So if we load you, load you, and then we can load you. Uh, there, there. Another one in there. Minus eight, minus nine, minus eight. Let's put it in the crystal core. Okay, wow, we bunch of ones. Bunch of threes. So that'll deal. That's sixteen. That's twenty five, uh, twenty three. I should have just loaded that in there. Although you've got four power, uh, three power, so. So I load you into there. I'll load you into there. Take you as that. And I do do you with the cannon. The cannons are great. Bump the weight limit. Treasure. Uh when an attack unit is loaded with nine point energy, it gains one power. Start of your turn. Yeah, I'm kinda low. Two temporary fuel. But I think shields are going to be real. Uh, and I think I do this. Four vacation days. Let's hit you. Uh, yeah, we'll just buy that. So I've got a seven point there. Uh, 50% chance. Second item. Not bothered by that. Oh, I gained the simulator. Oh, well. Start battle, change the skill to that of the support unit up front. Yeah, I'm not interested. Um, upgrade all four points to five points, two points to three points, three points to four points. Uh, right, 
this is the boss. This is going to be tricky. I might as well do this. I might as well grab you. I almost died making the animation for these tentacles. So, that's that. Grab you there, grab you there, put you there so we've got the extra energy. Um... Minus 839, minus 839, so it doesn't actually matter, so we'll put you in there. Uh, let's say 34. Go there, move to there. We've got our nine now. So we've got 36 going in there. Wow, that is only five. Uh, right, okay. If we put the... you don't have any fuel I do not survive this yeah I don't survive that so let's think about this again. This is probably not going to happen. Grants to strength. Do we think about the chain? The chain cores. So, like that. Oh, hang on. Uh, it would be better to do the chain calls like that. Yeah, definitely. Because then you get the extra blue. So we put the five in there to get the eight. Put the four in there. Four in there. Put 
Turn you into that. Still die there. This is better. This works. Better, I think. Uh, I think we pro possibly just didn't play that well. Like, we definitely start there. And that seems great. You know, that's 14 there. Push you to there. Eight and twenty two, that's eight and twenty one. That still kills us. Oh, hang on. We can do we can do this better. Right, start by putting the five in there. Dropping to there. Put the nine in there. Seven there. Uh, four goes in there. Three, three, two, and we still die. Maybe we do that. So that gets us the nine straight away. So we've got a ton in that. We've got five there. Seven. Three. Do some damage. Not enough. Wow, really not enough. Um, I think we're just dead. I think we're just dead. I don't think we can beat this guy. The toilet lid apocalypse. Yeah. 54 minutes. Yeah, I don't think we could have done that. So we've unlocked the Space Walker, we've unlocked uh, Uncle Faction Vito. Uh, he's a human, Vito's uncle. 
is a uh, high-ranking member of the Bounty Association. Every time Vito sells his sale, his uncle can provide useful advice and sets of units. Two matching units at the start of the game. Uh, star coins, armor, association supply, extra shop, enhanced shield, initial upgrade, and treasure compensation. Nice. So that'll do. That'll do that run. So thanks for watching.